what is going on everybody welcome back to a new video if you guys remember a few days ago there was a new code called huge update soon and as you guys know my little peanut brain thought that was going to be a brand new gym this saturday it turns out i was completely wrong but i mean well i could still be right but right now it doesn't seem like it recently in gym league they announced another update and this update can pretty much change a lot of things in this game there might be a few things in this update that might trigger a few people or it might make a few people happy so we're gonna have to see as as you can see they did write a lot on the new announcement hey gym league community we want to sincerely apologize for the recent updates over the last few weeks due to a lack of oversight we weren't able to properly vet the updates and we recognize that it's impacted your experience yeah those updates pretty much created a lot of new glitches there are so many reports of people just flying across the screen even the trainers are doing whatever they want there's actual footage of the trainers like working now instead of the actual player it's amazing with the recent arm wrestling event there have been a lot more glitches than before like if you were to enter it it would just start launching you across the map even into the water in the private gym so i'm going to assume they're going to fix all of that and add new things that's why i think when they met huge updates soon they meant this and add a new gym which is kind of sad for me but it's all right before i continue i did take a screenshot of the announcement because i knew they were going to delete this part it's like we were chefs at a top tier restaurant serving you the best dishes but then we brought in another chef and the quality just wasn't the same now it's time to step back into the kitchen ourselves and cook you the experience you deserve we're committing to making things right and revamping gym league from the ground up <laughs> So this section with the chef, they deleted it, but I knew they were going to delete it because it was kind of goofy to read at first. Every time I read it, I could only imagine like Gordon Ramsay just walking up to the owner of Gym League and just doing like that sandwich gif. <laughs> it's like the funniest thing ever. What's coming in the revamped Gym League? Clan system. Ooh, that might be a good idea. Build and upgrade your own clans. Compete with other clans in the league. Unlock special clan gyms and gain muscle growth benefits when training with your clan members. These gyms will level up with your clan progression. While surprisingly, this clan system might be a huge update even by itself. The one thing I wonder, is it going to create its own leaderboard for the clans? Because if there's a leaderboard, I might come back to Gym League and try hard. I also can create my own clan, but I'm going to have some good requirements on it. Like in order to join my clan, you might have to be on the last body altar of the prison gym, for example. And of course, you have to be very active. But you know what? In the coming days, I'll think about like some requirements to do and I'll put them in my Discord. So if you want to be part of my clan you have to join my discord and read the requirements and apply we also do giveaways there so you don't want to miss out on that so this clan system i think is going to be a very good idea but i hope it doesn't have like a limit of like 10 people for example i really hope it goes up to like maybe 50 people i think that will be way better because in a lot of games with clan systems they usually have up to 50 people allowed not 10 monetization changes oh this is going to be a big one we are removing unnecessary monetization features like fortune spin to focus on making the game more fun for everyone we will exchange the spins you already bought with something valuable we will add another way to get the divine weights wow i'm actually surprised they're gonna remove the fortune spins i'm pretty sure every single simulator game i played has some sort of spin wheel but i wonder how they're gonna replace the fortune spin are they gonna add a new event that gives you all the rewards the fortune spin did and if it's gonna be an event it's gonna have to be free right so that means you're gonna get the divine weights for free in the future and if you could get those for free that's gonna to change the game like crazy like honestly i could go back to my free to play account and get them and restart my series but wait 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 what about the bloodborne aura the bloodborne aura was pretty good too are they gonna add it to the same event that divine weights are in yeah i'm not really sure how they can add the divine weights to the game without the fortune spins because we already have a lot of events so i'm not really sure where they're gonna fit it or where they're gonna put it let me know what you guys think down below because divine weights are a pretty huge deal like if you were to get divine weights right now they would make a a massive difference they give you a three times muscle boost improved mini games mini games will be more dynamic randomly selected for each gym and integrated into competitions in each competition there will be two bodybuilding challenges and one mini game from a random pool offering similar rewards to the ones you loved before so do you have to walk to the mini game or do you have to just wait for it to appear on your screen because if it appears randomly on your screen you could just use an auto clicker and just let it run all day but here's the thing some events are worse 
than others when getting for example the free gear slot but if you could just walk to the event i guess you could still just hop gyms and just keep doing them unlimited times the one thing i hope they don't do is grab every single reward from every single mini game and put them together in the same pool for example imagine if they grab the cyber gyms events the pirate gym event and the hidden gym event and they put them all together into one mini game that would make it insanely hard to get the extra gear slot or even the extra gear spin bro the extra gear slot will go from one percent or two percent to zero 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 point zero zero two percent next we got fixing the balancing poses also we will add a cash multiplier and emo system so you can use your poses in the gym and gain some cash multiplier oh that's a pretty good one for the longest times the poses were pretty much like useless they were just pure cosmetic but it would be pretty cool to see you do them outside the gym competition like imagine you just walk up to a bunch of people and you just start using your rare mythical poses oh yeah speaking about mythical poses they're probably gonna add some new ones because i'm pretty sure if i remember correctly i only seen common rare and epic ones i've never seen a legendary or mythical one and i'm pretty sure in the future they're gonna add some pay to win ones that you could buy like they're probably gonna give you a pose that gives you a huge cash multiplier making the other ones pretty bad but i think first they should make some mythical ones everybody can get but that kind of reminds me i wish there was another way we can make money on gym league because even though we've had gym competitions since the beginning there has to be another way to make money it doesn't even have to be every single five minutes like gym competition it could be like every single 30 minutes or every single hour but it's like a huge amount of money and in order for you to do it you have to be actively playing gym league so you don't miss it i think the best way they could do this temporarily is make all the quests give you more money and give you even more quests to do every single day because the people who are new to gym league when they do the quest and daily quest from the battle pass it helps a lot i remember my free to play series i made like 100k in the first gym which was the beast gym which was absolutely insane and helpful but now that poses are going to be useful it's such a good thing to implement in the game next we have overall revamp for visuals especially the last body alters and some tweaks to the mini games personally i wouldn't say i like the tempo one i am probably just going to remove it and improve the other ones and add more variety to the design wait what what do you mean i wouldn't say i like the temple one is there only one person working on gym league nah there's no way he probably is just telling us his opinion and there's like other developers because there's no way it's just one person running gym league but yeah speaking about the last body alters of the prison gym they have to fix that the jumpsuit the bars and stonewall body alter make no sense at all even if they were trying to copy an anime it still doesn't make any sense because i can't tell what it is and other people couldn't tell either if you look at the jumpsuit it's just a red skin with like a little bit of orange everybody knows when they're talking about a jumpsuit in prison they mean like the whole orange suit with like the few black letters on the chest indicating that you are in prison and i have no idea what the bar body altar is supposed to represent i'm just gonna assume it's supposed to be the bars in front of like the prison where the prisoners are held i'm gonna assume it's just that but it still looks like an ugly design and i'm gonna assume the stonewall body altar is supposed to represent the concrete of the walls in the prison the only problem with this is we already have a concrete body altar and it looks exactly like it so yeah i hope they do change all three of them and make them more appealing because a lot of people were disappointed and they didn't even try also let's not forget there was like a whole week that we couldn't even level up the stonewall body altar like stalling that was kind of bad for the game and a lot of people left the game honestly we appreciate your patience and we are excited to bring back the quality and fun you've always expected from gym league stay tuned for more updates and thank you for your support write down your ideas for future updates to the suggestions okay maybe i will also there's one more thing they are thinking about deleting some items from the game in this one it reads i'm not satisfied with the current packs in the game and i'm thinking about removing them and add a new pack with a good quality aura do you guys have any ideas for the new pack and then he goes on to say i'm thinking about removing the current slime and night pack which is kind of weird to see but if they replace it with something similar i guess it's fine but if it's something weaker oh, i don't know about that but you know what i already got both of them so i guess i don't have to worry about it but that's all i got for today if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe and i'll see you the next one peace